It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out of my mind. It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. I'm putting you out, it's trash day, I'm putting you out of my mind. Now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up the house. Taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage out. It's trash day, I'm putting you out. It's trash day, I'm putting you out. It's trash day, I'm putting you out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children above the age of 21, RBGC proudly brings to you its trash talking, beer drinking, garbage duo, Mark, the entertainer, Martinez, Paul, the athlete, Bullers. We are the Can Crusher! What a hell of an introduction this week. Paul, welcome back to week two. I, I don't know what to do after that. Hey, I've been working on that for about two minutes now. So Right, and he had to do it about three times. My beer's half gone. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm just going to open mine, so let's get down to it. Hey, congratulations, first of all, as Paul uh, is an all-star football player. It was announced over this past week, so duo uh, props to Paul once again. Hey, thank you, sir. No problem. Hey, big news this week on Can Crushers. We, uh, we have Facebook. We have Twitter. Uh, our Twitter handle is at CanCrushers69, all one word. Get on there, tweet, uh, try to do two or three things a day. You know, Facebook, give us a like. Instagram's coming. The The construction's out there, but our picture needs to get JPEG down, and this is, that's what we have friends for. Uh, also, email us at cancrusher69 at gmail.com. My phone's going off. Somebody must just email me. You already heard about it. See how wow. awesome that is? Um, let's talk about the beer, Mark. Yeah, this is good stuff. Uh, Dogfish Head, you have some notes and stuff about it. I've had Dogfish had a few other ones. I have not had this one before. The Festina Peach. Um, it's very well. I mean, it's a light taste. A good summer beer. Uh, Dogfish Head, established 1995. They have well over 50 different kinds of beers. They're out of Milton, Delaware. Yeah, we could we could go there. We could go there. And catch a baseball game as well. 4.5% uh, alcohol per, va- per volume. This is really, it's got a sweet peach to it. I really like this. There's some tartness in there, too. I like that. That's a good, that's a good beer. This is definitely a good beer. Maybe our conversations will get better. Yeah, since we have better beers, yeah. Hey, quick uh, IWC synopsis. Just telling you what happened over the weekend. We can get into IWC, a whole show itself, and we deserve to and need to. Um, new Super Indie champion, uh, Jonathan Gresham. Ended up defeating David Starr in the finals. Watch out for Gresham. He has have he's already hit ROH, but David Starr, I didn't know anything about him going into Saturday. Wow, he puts on a hell of a show. Look him up. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my beer because I was busy losing a close football game against the Moshana Valley Vikings. Which dropped them into 7th in the rankings. Uh, Got to go on the road this weekend against number 2. Ugh. Still in the playoffs. That's all that matters. Right. Uh, we hold our own destiny and we'll go from there. Right. And no more dicking around. Right. They need to get, get back on it. Uh, new tag team champions as well as our boys the fraternity still stuck in Canada. Visa issues, passport issues, so the... Wait a second, that's the top half. They're not building a wall up there. Why can't they come down? I'm friends with them, so it's oh. already an issue. Yeah. LaRusso and the Titan are new tag team champions as Labar owned them, so he just gave it to those two. Uh, Wardlow still heavyweight champ, and our girl Britt Baker is chilling on the beach in Florida with that IWC Women's Championship. Segway, Rise 3 will be out tonight, but Rise 2 main event, Paul, you were there. Tessa and Britt, I went back and watched it again. That match. I I know what was going to happen, and it's still the best match of the night that night. Yes. So, again, it's five bucks a month. Get Rise and Send. It's five bucks a month. That's enough of a plug. You'll hear it all the time. It's five bucks a month. 
for amazing, amazing women's wrestling. Oh, Raw's right around the corner, Paul. Well, I guess we'll get into that as soon as we take a break. Yeah, we'll be back. Man, do I love card night. You ready, boys? You got a king? Go, fish that. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Learn more at 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Swinging into Raw like Sami Zayn, Haluka kicking Bobby Lashley. Right? Well, done. Done. I'm, I'm over that. Yeah, that, that really needs a drop. We spent too much time on it already. That few can go to bed. Let's talk about the women's match. Yeah, the women's match was amazing. I mean, Nat wins it with a sharpshooter on Alexa Bliss with her bad leg. Right. Also, uh, your girl, the boss, got a pretty pretty dinged up on that match. She did. She got thrown around. Um, you know, the women's match was the best match of the night to me. That's the reason why I'm watching right now. It really is the reason why I'm watching. Uh, Sasha did take a beating. Uh, Ember Moon, I like her, but if they give her the the case already, it's kind of a little bit of a push for me, I don't think. I mean, we'll get into that at the end of the show, but yeah. Next matchup was the Fashion Police against Ziggler and McIntyre. Destruction. Ziggler and McIntyre are just insane. Yeah, the best thing I got out of that match is Drew McIntyre's match. Looks like Waylon Mercy's hair from the 80s. Uh, Waylon Waylon Mercy was Danny Spivey. Look that up. Horrible reference. Horrible (laughs) reference. Uh, Next up was a Roman interview. The best thing is he called Jinder an idiot. (laughs) Awesome mic skills. Right? And that sets up for the match between Jinder uh, later on down the line. And we'll get into that. Ugh. I did say, during this same uh, break on Raw, Lucha Libre was on. They had an ad on USA for Lucha Underground during Raw. They, you see the break between USA and Raw, because one of them's moving to uh, Fox in a couple years. USA's already starting it, saying, we're going to show whatever the hell we want to. Uh, they made a big announcement about Brock holding the title longer than CM Punk. And uh, okay, well, you, I mean, you knew that was coming because of the whole court case. CM Punk, congratulations on winning! Congratulations I mean, on getting your ass kicked at UFC. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good with the bad. He got paid either way. Right, I agree. I agree. He's a job squatter now. Pin me, pay me. He's going to ROH. Oh, for sure. We'll see that soon. All in. All yeah. Uh, next match, our boys, the B-Team. The B-Team! Woo! Against Slater and Rhino. They're still perfect since becoming the B-Team. Right. They're still undefeated. They are going to get that tag team title match. I thought it was going to be at Money in the Bank. Apparently it's not. No, it's not. Uh, but they finally got the Deleters of the World's attention, huh? Yeah. Uh, and good. I, I'm all in on this B-Team. I really am. I'd like to see them hold the titles. For a little bit, and Bray and Hardy are better foes than I think than tag team. Right. Moving ahead, the NWO, I mean the Riot Squad, (laughs) was in attendance against... They were just wrecking, making havoc all over the place. Right. And then afterwards, the the old school, let's make our, let's make our emblem known, I guess, a... A black R on lip with lipstick on Bailey's belly. I liked it. I, I'm a you know I'm a huge hugger. I'm a Bailey fan, but the Riot Squad has my attention. I really like them right now. Uh, favorite Riot, Riot Squad member? Go. It'd have to be Ruby Riot. That's just me. She's got the look. She's got the personality. It's time to wake up. It's Paul. time to wake up. <laughs> Mine is Ashley. 
Sarah Logan. She was crazy Mary Dobson in the Indies, and she's just going to, one of these times she's going to snap and be crazy Mary Dobson all over again. This next one, I don't, I didn't want to spend any time on Kurt Hawkins being on ESPN, and the match was horrible. Hey, he is 0-200, but he still loves to wrestle. But when you're wrestling a guy like, no way, Jose, no way, Jose, come on, Mark, do it with me. No, it, it's Adam Rose all over again. Oh, I, I can't stand it. Uh, you need to get on this Congo line because the no way Jose train is coming. Choo choo. Uh, skipped over the the Ronda Rousey, Nia Jax face to face in the back. Not much to say about that, really. You you see it coming. They're Ronda. I mean, we'll talk about it later, but Ronda's big. Right? Yeah, and Ronda's gonna get the push that we both think. So, ending Raw was the men's four way, and whoa. Oh, what destruction your boy Braun endured? Yeah. I mean, and, and gave? And gave? I mean, we're talking frog splashes off of ladders. We're talking every finisher that Kevin Owens had, Bobby Roode had, the Coup de Gras. Yeah. I mean, he went Glorious through all of it. Glorious DDT. Which was a feat on its own. Like we said, Bobby Roode, no spring chicken. No. But he picked him up off the ground and gave him the glorious DDT. But, not a teaser, just a flat out. That just means Braun's not winning Money in the Bank. Yeah, come on now. I, you can't give him all the props on Raw and then think he's going to get a big case to carry around. Right? But you know who's going to be mad at you? John Mayer. Because you forgot about his oh, guitar getting smashed. I did. I did. By the way, that was a sweet guitar. John Mayer painted an Intercontinental Championship on Elias's guitar. He's an artiste. A hip-hop artist? I think that's what uh, the announcer said. John Mayer, the top hip-hop artist. Yeah, I think he messed I up. I don't think he's hip-hop as much as I'm hip-hop. Oh, you are definitely hip-hop. Yeah. Too cool for school. Let's take Cut a Cut it out. Let's take a break. Titans go! When the Teen Titans go to the movies, they know the best way to travel is safely. Hollywood, here we come! Budget. And you know it's super. To keep your child safe, be sure to use the right car seat for their age and size. Exactly. Know your feelings. We're finally on the big screen. Have a seat, my dude. For more information on finding the right seat, visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Gotcha. That's a wise move. It's an Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Can Crushers, where there's no height requirement to listen to us. Oh my god, was that a big cast reference? And that's the last one. Thank goodness it's over. Let's go to the women's match. Let me tell you, the women's match, I love the beginning. They were all out chatting, being, bickering and everything. And then the Iconics came out. The best of the night. Peyton Royce and uh, Billy Kay. Yeah. <laughs> Stutter through that one. Get a drink of beer. I know. Collect your thoughts. I'm amazing. Uh, they danced well. They did dance well. I mean, better than Naomi and Lana. Yeah. Hey, happy Lana Day now. Oh, come on. Let's ride them coattails of Rusev anymore, can we? I know. Uh, moving ahead. Daniel Bryan against Shelton Benjamin. It was a okay match but there was really only one thing i got out of it everyone is the same size on the match because daniel bryant won with a submission move right but shelton benjamin isn't seven feet tall right oh we did it again i put another big cast oh, reference my. in there uh aj gets interviewed by jerry lawler he says hey i'm gonna beat shinsuke well, I mean, you got you're in Memphis. You got to bring the king out. Yeah, that he's was, a Memphis born and raised. They brought him up. I was happy. I was happy to see Lawler. So uh, there was a lot of randomness on SmackDown. A lot of promos. Yeah, I know it's the go home show of go home shows, but they could have did a lot more. I was unimpressed with SmackDown. With this being the last one before the pay per view, yeah, they could have done better. 
They announced that Gallus and Anderson against the Bludgeon Brothers is now on the kickoff show. No loves for the tag team titles at all on either brand. Just burying those. Uh, interview with Miz in the back. He wants to be a referee. And he's promoting his new movie, Rough, Rough, Rough. It's a great movie. It's coming out, Rough, Rough, Rough. You have to watch it. I'll be a, I'll be sure to check Netflix for that in, what, two weeks? I don't even know if Netflix is going to carry it, but <laughs> Rough, Rough, Rough is where it is. Uh, so The Miz does get the chance to be a ref in between uh, Rusev and Joe. Rusev and Joe could have been a great match. Minus they're, The Miz. They're both powerhouses. Yeah. And it's always Rusev Day. It is always Rusev Day. Wait, it, it's Rusev Day! Aiden English rapped. I missed before that Before you did miss that part. And it was hot. It was hot like knife and a butter. And all, oh, it was great. Go back on YouTube and watch it. We should start making this video so we can just tag that in there right off the bat. Remember when you said you weren't hip-hop? I'm going to go with it probably wasn't that great. So... Let's talk about the end of the match, shall we? Yeah, <laughs> the end of the match, the Miz gets pointing fingers and gets in Joe's face, and Rusev super kicks him, picks up the one, two, three, and starts climbing the ladder. Skull crushing finale. Miz grabs it. This is your favorite part. This is my favorite part. So the Miz grabs a briefcase. He's yelling, "I'm going to be the next champion." In this case, is a contract. And then slams it in front of the announce table and is like, right in there, look at it. There's my contract to be the next champion. And guess what? It's full of... Bootios! No, it's pancakes. It is pancakes. The bootio is gone. I love bootios. But, so here it is. <laughs> Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods in the same t-shirt. And then you have Big E... Eating pancake batter, stirring it up, something, whatever. With the greatest laugh in the world. Right, yes. It will haunt my dreams forever. It it does in my house right now. (laughs) Imagine us wearing the same t-shirt. Well, that's a big t-shirt. That's a 5X at least. (laughs) At least. Uh, Then it becomes um, Jeff Hardy against Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't know if you know this, Paul. That was the first time ever that match happened. You know... It sounds like the Hound every day at noon. I've never heard that before. It was the first time ever that match happened. Ever. Ever. Will it happen again? Yes. That's Not what for the first time, though. But they're setting up for it. Shinsuke loses the match as the low blow. He lost there, but then he gave him the the King Sasha kick, knocked out Hardy. He counted the 10 himself. Yeah, I'm over Shinsuke. Yeah. I really am. I'm over nut shots. Yeah, I'm not in third grade anymore. And I mean, I could still get on the internet and watch them every day, but it's, I'm over it on WWE. Right. Over it. Done. Uh, next match is the 10-woman match, and it was good. Uh, DeVille's going to be amazing. i sorry to take that away from Naomi, but I think DeVille is the rising star in the WWE of the women right now. She she definitely has a look. I'm still on board with Mandy Sachs. Yeah. You're on board Mandy Sachs for a completely different reason. Athleticism, sir. Athleticism. Right. And let's talk about that. Wow, did I bury myself on uh, Facebook earlier. Uh, Mark has his own opinions. Let's just go with that. And he needs to start announcing when he's typing on Facebook because... I'm not go- I'm not riding that sinking ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oscar picks up the win as you know, making Mella tap. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll get into the pre. We'll get into money back next segment. Yeah. But at the end, with the four women from SmackDown looking up at the briefcase and Oscar in the middle, I mean, it's got some. It's got some legs. It really does have some legs. But when? Right. Win. Uh, break time and we'll tell you when right after this on Can Crush Hurst. 
A ranger station. I'd like to report a bear hug. Okay. I put out my campfire and Smokey Bear hugged me. So you drowned the fire, you stirred it, drowned it again, and felt that it was cold? Uh-huh. Yeah, but he's just letting you know you did good. Bear hug from Smokey Bear. Status update. I'm gonna let you go now. There are many ways to start a fire, but one sure way to put it out. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service Ad Council and your state forester. I don't know about starting a forest fire, but we're going to probably start a couple fires with this segment. We're going to go into Money in the Bank and our predictions and our thoughts. And these are our opinions, and you probably aren't going to like them. And we don't care. Right. But we don't care. Pre-show. But you can email us and let us know about it, and then we'll put you on air. Can, cancrusher69 at gmail.com. Tweet us at, at cancrusher69. Like us or hate us on Facebook. And Instagram's coming because that's going to be Paul's baby to take care of. <laughs> oh, let's start with the pre-show. The Bludgeon Brothers versus Gallows and Anderson. And this is going to take about 30 seconds because it's going to be the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, they don't lose yet. No, not in a pre-show. Not in a pre-show. Not against somebody they've already beaten on SmackDown. Right. Not in order. We don't know the way the way the matches are going, so we just wrote them down. All right. So the main show, let's go with matches that we don't think anybody cares about. Lashley and Zane. Bobby Lashley can't lose. He just came back. No. And Sami Zayn's just a stepping stone. That's what, I mean, he's mid-card. That's all Sami Zayn is. And that's sad because I like him. Comic relief. Yeah. I, I'm really upset about that. I like Sami Zayn. I loved him with Owens, but... I don't know. I don't know where they bring both of these guys in the future. So who are you picking? Uh, I'm going to take Lashley. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Okay, so we're both together. All right, next match is going to be Seth Rollins against Elias. I think this actually has the potential to be maybe not match of the night, but up there. I like them both. Both are very great competitors. And you, we walk with Elias. We do walk with Elias here on Can Crushers. But Rollins burns it down. So who are you taking? Uh, I'm going to go with Rollins. P by Rollins. That, that sounded weird. It did sound weird. I'm going to take Elias. I think Rollins is moving on to something bigger. He doesn't need the IC title. Set him up for a big match at... SummerSlam, get him into the useless Universal Championship title pitcher. Elias needs this. Elias does need this. So Mark has Elias. That's one that we're separated on already. Okay. Next match. Mella. SmackDown Women's Championship. Mella is money. But Asuka is the Empress of Tomorrow. The Empress of Tomorrow. And tomorrow is coming. Tomorrow is coming, but tomorrow's not... It's only a day away. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I don't think tomorrow is here yet. And we are, we are definitely <laughs> stretching out on this one. I'm going to go with Asuka. You are taking... Are you taking, taking Asuka, Asuka to win the title or the match? The match. So, so the same thing I'm doing. Oh, okay. Mella does not lose the... Mella stays money. Yeah, she retains because she gets disqualified, count out, something. So the match goes to Asuka, but the title does not. No. Not yet. Not SummerSlam. It's a different story. Different story. Next match is Nia Jax against Ronda Rousey. Folks, the writing's on the wall. I mean, Rhonda's Rhonda's contract is only a year long. She says that she wants to have kids now. It's coming. She's Sma- gonna be she gonna be a useless as a universal champion. Let's pick, let's take it part time. All our championships are part time. The, the only title that's gonna be huge on uh, Raw is going to be the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, but it's walking with Elias. And then the tag team championship. Wow, I stepped right over that. That was a bad step. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was bad. I owe you. I owe you one. Then the tag team championship is not even on the card. Right? No no love for the tag team titles. Ronda wins. Ronda wins a title. And it sets up for uh, something random at SummerSlam. Right. Somehow, Flair gets involved. Woo! Not 
that one. Oh. This match should be on the pre-show. Yes. Daniel Bryant versus, I have to say his name again, Big Cass. I'm going to get into this, actually. Daniel Bryant just comes back. I know he had a match already, but he just comes back. If he loses this one, where does he go? Buried. Right. But Big Cass is already buried, so what does it matter? You're not going to post it. You're not going to... He just come. I mean, he beat Daniel Bryan. He just came back. It doesn't matter if Big Cass beats Daniel Bryan. He needs to beat somebody substantial and in the hunt. And that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He's just going to be the big show. He's going to get to face your jobbers. You're this. You're that. Daniel Bryan wins. I'm tired of underdog stories. S O F T soft. Daniel Bryant wins. I'm tired of underdog stories. Get him out of here. Another match I could give two shits about. Ooh. Language. That's why we're explicit. Sorry. Roman versus Jinder Mahal. I mean, it, I got it. I'm taking Roman because Jinder's not going to win. I'm taking he, I'm taking Jinder just to be difficult. You, it's wrong. Because he's not going to win. Whatever, Paul. That's fine. It's your loss. And we're done with that one. AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. Last man standing match. I don't see AJ losing yet. No. AJ's still champion. Uh, I think that there's going to be a nut shot in this. One? Let's make a side bet. Side bet. How many nut shots? Loser buys next week's beer. All right. I'm going to go with... At least three. There's three. No, you can't say it. Okay, so no, you're saying three. 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 Okay, Paul's saying three. Anybody else wants to get involved in this, please do. Uh, and remember, loser buys next week's beer. Right, loser buy next week's beer. Paul's got three. I'm going to go just two. Two. Yep. One where AJ has the cup on. He pulls the cup off. Five minutes later, there's the other one, but he makes it up at the nine count and wins the match. We both got AJ? Yes, we both have AJ. We both have AJ. So we're not separated on much. Uh, women's ladder match, you have to pick your winner. This is where we're This is where we're separated because, uh, woo! You're taking Charlotte. She's... Your cherry pie! She's cool the drink of water! No? No. That was good. There's that hip hop. That's not hip hop. Nah. I'm actually gonna go with Sasha. Sasha needs it more than Charlotte does. So Raw doesn't have anything to do with this because we're no, both picking SmackDowns. No, Sasha's on Raw. Oh, I thought I thought you said Becky. My bad. No. Ah, I wasn't listening. No, no. I, I think Sasha needs it more than anybody. the The whole Bailey thing has been buried. I. I don't she, know if it's been buried. She yet. would have came out and helped her get the black lipstick off her belly. <laughs> so that's buried. Uh, Sasha wins. Men's ladder match. You're going brawn. I'm not going brawn. You're not. No. I am actually going with the Miz. Yeah, me too. What? Of course I am. I did not figure that you were going to go with that. So that's why I picked the Miz. Now I, I'm going to have to read. I'm gonna wait, no, it's in, it's, on, it's in pen. I, I'm going Miz. Miz actually deserves this one. I want to see him win it. I want to see him hold it. Cash in WrestleMania. Get a great title run for a while. Miz wins. Another side bet. Who you got from New Day? Woods deserves it. Kofi would be the best because he'll put on a good show. Big E's in. Big E's, Big E's only in because of Braun. He can yeah. stifle Braun. Yeah. And so we're both. So that our side bets out the window. Side bets out the window. Okay. So that's There's, money in the bank. That's it. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. We'll be right back. Hi, we're the Goo Goo Dolls. We're fortunate that our daughters have what they need to grow and learn. But that isn't the case for nearly 13 million kids in the U.S. that struggle with hunger. Childhood hunger is a heartbreaking reality that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and provides it to families and children in need. You can help kids in need in your community by visiting feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. 
Yeah, make sure you do feed your kids. Can Crushers does want to say that. Plus, it also pays the bills for both of us because it creates garbage. And it's time for your Garbage Tip of the Week. Garbage Tip of the Week is a pretty simple one, but it's actually more difficult for people than you would realize. And what am I talking about, Mark? Tie your bags. They, they got the little strings on them for a reason, and even if they don't, you could take that bag and just tie it up. Rabbit ears together. It doesn't. It doesn't need to be in a knot. Just loop, swoop, and pull. Anything. It doesn't matter if it's sitting out by the curb, going in a can. Anything. Tie your bags because we throw them. And if they're open, we get garbage all over the place. Then you call and yell about us throwing garbage all over the place. And I mean, it is our fault, but it's not our fault. Tying a bag takes 30 seconds. And then you can wash your hands right after. I don't wash my hands. I eat right after I'm done tying bags. You do. You spent like $25 on food today at the grocery store. But wow, did you... It was like four pounds of food. And it was delicious. I'm a growing boy. That's you, what I do. You are a growing boy. Let me tell you that. Hey, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Uh, I hope everybody has a great week. Watch Money in the Bank. Uh, we'll try. I'm going to do. I'll be online, if anything. Just making a heel out of myself again, probably. Thanks to all the people that have su- subscribed and the few people that have commented. Do that. Go on iTunes. Like us. Love us. You know, do a review. It helps us out. Uh, we'll get big. And remember, just because you're trash doesn't mean that you can't do great things. It's called a garbage can, not a garbage cannot. Mark, let's send this to the compactor. Finish your beer. I'm gonna. Cheers, brother. <laughs>